फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कंट्रोल मोटर स्टार्टर विथ सेंसर सो फॉर दिस कंट्रोल वायरिंग वी कनेक्टेड टू सेंसर फर्स्ट सेंसर फॉर स्टॉप ऑफ मोटर स्टार्टर एंड सेकेंड सेंसर फॉर स्टार्ट ऑफ मोटर स्टार्टर इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन वे स्टार्ट स्टॉप मोटर स्टार्टर विथ पुश बटन बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट स्टॉप योर मोटर स्टार्टर विथ सेंसर इन प्लेस ऑफ पुश बटन so let's see how to do this control wiring and how it works okay for this control wiring we use two wire sensor which operate on 220 volt ac okay and in normal condition we stop our motor starter with nc push button so stop sensor should be in c type okay so first we connect a nc sensor for stopping of motor starter and it is two wire sensor okay and operating voltage is 220 volt ac okay i hope you clear the concept and start sensor is ano type okay because we start our motor starter with ano push button so we connect a second sensor which is ano type and also it is two wire sensor and operating voltage is 220 volt ac okay so we connect to two sensor first nc type and second one is ano type we connect one control mcb and four connectors for sensor connection okay so let's see how to do this control wiring so first we connect line and neutral in control mcb first understand neutral wiring so first we connect neutral in contactor a one coil so neutral connects directly to the motor starter okay now let's see how to do line control wiring okay so first we connect both sensor two wires in this connector this two connector for stop sensor connection and this two connectors for start sensor ano sensor connection okay so we connect total four connectors for sensor connection and better understanding of control wiring okay so first we connect line wiring in nc sensor which is a stop sensor and because it is a stop sensor and nc type sensor so in normal condition supply pass continuously in this sensor and when sensor operate so supply will cut up in normal condition supply pass in this blue wire okay so red wire supply incoming and when sensor is in stop condition so supply comes in blue wire and blue wire connect to the start of the sensor you can understand on start push button okay so stop sensor output connects in start of the sensor okay in normal condition supply holds in this start of the sensor when sensor operate okay in normal condition supply is stop here when this sensor operates so supply pass here in blue wire and connect to the overload relay nc.95 and output of 96 connect to the contactor coil a two terminal okay when it start sensor operate so contactor will operate but only manually okay when sensor operate so contactor will operate so permanently operate we need to provide holding supply okay when it start sensor operate so contactor will operate so for holding connection as we do holding in push button so same wiring for holding first we connect to one loop from contactor coil to n o terminal okay and for holding connection we take connector from nc push button or nc sensor output terminal or start sensor no sensor input terminal so we take one connector from output of stop sensor because supply comes continuously here when this sensor operates supply will cut up so we take one connector from a stop sensor output and connect this connector to contactor in o terminal our connection is now done when it start sensor operate so contactor operate when contactor operate so this holding supply comes continuously in this no terminal and when contactor operate so this no max nc and holding supply comes here and connect to the contactor coil so contactor will operate permanently i hope you clear the concept same connection as we done in push button so we need to do same connection for of sensor i hope you clear the concept for this connection we use two wire sensor and operating voltage is 220 volt ac of both sensor for the stop sensor we connect nc sensor and for the start sensor we connect no of the sensor i hope you clear the concept for today's enough we'll meet in next video thanks for watching